I'm Jeff Scott from Sussex Installations. I showed what we've been doing in the workshop today. We've been doing a security mission on this Mercedes Sprinter. So to start with, we fitted extra locks on the doors. These are our T-Series factory approved deadlocks. So if someone gets past the manufacturer's lock in, the door op just opens a couple of millimeters and the deadlock has the door secure. We fitted one of these on each of the doors. This is six side load door and it's the twin rear barn doors at the back. This is actually a international one from the Netherlands, so the side load doors on the other side. Extra lock, this is the driver's door. Same thing, extra lock on there, so if the manufacturer's locking gets breached, it just goes a couple of millimeters and the deadlock has it secure. What we've also done to this is we fit an alarm system. This alarm system is upgraded to work from the manufacturer's original remote control. So if I press the lock button, it locks, the alarm turns on, and there's also an ultra bright flashing blue LED on the dashboard just to let everyone else know that the alarm's on. We fitted the ultrasonic sensors in the cab which go up on the top of the pillars and it obviously has the switches already on the doors so each door has a switch but we've done a little bit more than just that so the load area of this and if you just come around with me here so this side load door so to start with obviously we're worried at the moment about folding of side load doors so we fitted an extra switch right up the top in the corner here on the side load door so that switch, I don't know if you can see that there, it just protects, if anyone starts to pull on the top of this door to try and fold the door over, the switch is gonna go nice and early and set the alarm off. So giving an early warning that, the, that hopefully they don't progress and damage the door by pulling it down, that the alarm goes off early enough to stop them. Should they actually get past um, the door by folding it, or should they be able to climb inside the, the van by cutting a hole through the roof or cutting a hole through the side of the van, we've put a PIR detector in here too. So this PIR detector will detect movement in the rear of this van. Any movement in the rear of this van will set off this PIR detector, which will trigger the alarm system, which we fit. So we've secured the locks on the doors, secured the doors with extra dead locks. We've put the alarm system that works from the factory remote control. We put the extra sensor in on the load area the PIR we put the door switch up high on this side load door of this sprinter because this is the, not the highest one it doesn't actually have an extra catch on here so extra important to have that that on this sprinter next thing to show you is actually underneath the bonnet so if I just crack the bonnet there's a couple of extra vulnerabilities here with this van one of them is the ECU so I think the sprinter problems of people stealing the van aren't necessarily the same as other makes and models where where they code new keys to the van but what they can do it seems is to bring their own ECU with them because the key is just like a, a generic key they're all the same physically it means that any key will actually fit the dashboard so it's just the electronics that change so if they was to come along a thief with their own ECU that's already paired up to their own set of keys then what they could do with that is they could actually just plug it straight into the to the wiring loom here and drive it away as if it's their own van so what we've done we fitted a big heavy duty shield there i don't know if you can see that shield over the ecu but there's a real big heavy duty shield and that's bolted on with shear bolts because access to this ecu is quite easy there's um there's actually just a plastic trim on the wheel arch here and then of course by opening up the bonnet they'd be able to get to it anyway Another thing which seems to be a real big expensive pain is if they was to get in and steal the catalytic converter. So you probably can't see it very well in the dark here, but we fitted a, a, a cat lock to this vehicle to keep the catalytic converter safe from theft, which would be a big expensive inconvenience should that get stolen. Um, another thing that we did while we was at it was actually not a security product, but a convenience product. We, we fitted parking sensors to this, to this van as well. So there's extra sensors on the, the bumper. Very strange configuration this one with a step to the right. So we've had to adapt with that and put a sensor on the step too. So it's been a hard day's work, but me and the, the, the guys, the team, we've been on it today. We've got this van secure. We've got the convenience of those sensors. We've got the cat lit converter secure. Um, if you'd like products for your Sprinter or any other vehicle, get in touch via the website. It's www.sussexinstallations.co.uk. Thanks for watching.